प्रेज लॉर्ड लेट अस प्रे लविंग फादर वी थैंक यू फॉर दिस टाइम लॉर्ड हेव एन आव वी आर गोइंग टू रीड योर हैव एन ई वर्ड्स स्पीक टू वर्स थ्रू योर वर्ड्स हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरी थिंग दैट वी रीड एंड हेल्प अस टू ग्रास्प ऑल द रेवलेशन दैट यू हैव फॉर अस बी विद अस एंड गाइड अस इन द नेम ऑफ जीजस आई आस्क ए मेन नाउ लेट अस रीड द बुक ऑफ नंबर्स फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर एंड द लॉर्ड स्पोक अंड मोजिस एंड अन टू एड इन सेंग टेक द सम ऑफ द सन्स ऑफ कोहाथ फ्रॉम अमांग द सन्स ऑफ लेवी आफ्टर दियर फैमिलीज by the house of their fathers from 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old all that enter into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation this shall be the service of the sons of kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation about the most holy things and when the camp setteth forward Aaron shall come and his sons and they shall take down the covering veil and cover the ark of testimony with it and shall put there on the covering of badger skin and shall spread over it a cloth holy of blue and shall put in the staves thereof and upon the table of show bread they shall spread a cloth of blue and put there on the dishes and the spoons and the bowls and covers with which to cover them and the continual bread shall be there on and they shall spread upon them a cloth of scarlet and cover the same with the covering of badger skin and shall put in the staves thereof and they shall take a cloth of blue and cover the lamp stand of the light and its lamps and its tongs and its snuff dishes and all the oil vessels thereof wherewith they minister unto it and they shall put it and all the vessels thereof within a covering of badger skin and shall put it upon a bar and upon the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue and cover it with the covering of badger skin and shall put in the staves thereof and they shall take all the instruments of ministry wherewith they minister in the sanctuary and put them in a cloth of blue and cover them with the covering of badger skin and shall put them on a bar and they shall take away the ashes from the altar and spread a purple cloth thereon and they shall put upon it all the vessels thereof wherewith they minister about it even the censers the flesh hooks and the shovels and the basins all the vessels of the altar and they shall spread upon it a covering of badger skin and put it in the staves of it and when Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary and all the vessels of the sanctuary as a camp is to set forward after that the sons of kohath shall come to bear it but they shall not touch any holy thing lest they die these things are the burden of the sons of kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation and to the office of eliazar the son of aden the priest pretended the oil for the light and the sweet incense and the daily meal offering and the anointing oil and the oversight of all the tabernacle and all that therein is in the sanctuary and in the vessels thereof now the lord spoke unto moses and unto aaron saying cut ye not off the tribe of the families of the kohathites from among the levites for thus do unto them that they may live and not die when they approach unto the most holy things aaron and his son shall go in and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden but they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered lest they die and the lord spoke unto moses saying take also the sum of the sons of gershon throughout the houses of their fathers by their families from 30 years old and upward until 50 years old shall thou number them all that enter in to perform the service to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation this is a service of the families of the gershonites to serve and for burdens and they shall bear the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of the congregation its covering and the covering of the badger skins that is above upon it and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and the hangings of the court and the hanging for the door of the gate of the court which is by the tabernacle and by the altar round about and their cords and all the instruments of their service and all that is made for them so shall they serve at the appointment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of the Gershonites and in all their burdens 
and in all their service and they shall appoint unto them in charge all their burdens this is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation and their charge shall be under the hand of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest as for the sons of Merari thou shalt number them after their families by the house of their fathers from 30 years old and upward even unto 50 years old shall thou number them every one who entered into the service to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation and this is the charge of their burden according to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation the boards of the tabernacle and the bars thereof and the pillars thereof and sockets thereof and the pillars of the court round about and their sockets and their pins and their cords with all their instruments and with all their service and by name ye shall reckon the instruments of the charge of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Merari, according to all their service. In the tabernacle of the congregation, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. And Moses and Aaron and the chief of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites after their families and after the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one who entered into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation, and those who were numbered of them by the families were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. These were they who were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation. To Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And those who were numbered of the sons of Gershon throughout the families and by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one who entered into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation, even those who were numbered of them throughout their families, by the house of their fathers were two thousand and six hundred and thirty. These are they who were numbered of the families of the sons of Jershon, of all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, who Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord. And those who were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari throughout their families by the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one that entered into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation, even those who were numbered of them after their families were three thousand and two hundred. These are those who were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. All those who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the leaders of Israel number after their families and after the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even unto fifty years old, every one who came to do the service of the ministry and the service of the burden in the tabernacle of the congregation. Even those who were numbered of them were eight thousand and five hundred and fourscore. According to the commandment of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, every one according to his service and according to his burden. Thus were they numbered by him, as the Lord commanded Moses. Amen. Now let us read the Gospel of John from chapter 7. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Judea, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart from here, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. For neither did this brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hated, because I testify of it that its works are evil. Go ye up unto this feast, I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet fully come. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. 
Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, He is a good man. Others said, Nay, but he deceived the people. However, no man spoke openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now, at about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught, and the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory, that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why do ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, Thou hast a demon, who goeth about to kill thee. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses, therefore, gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And they on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry with me, because I have made a man entirely well on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, Is not this he whom they seek to kill? But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? Nevertheless we know this man, from where he is. But when Christ cometh, no man knoweth from where he is. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know from where I am, and I am not come of myself. But he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him. And he hath sent me, then they sought to take him. But no man laid his hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. And many of the people believed on him, and said, When Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man hath done? The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then said Jesus unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, there ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Where will he go, that we will not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Greeks, and teach the Greeks? What manner of saying is this that he said, Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me? Where I am, there ye cannot come. In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me, and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, Out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. But this spoke he out of the Spirit, whom they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said, Of a truth this is the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, Shall Christ come out of Galilee? Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David, and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was a division among the people because of him, and some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spoke like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? But this people, who knoweth not the law, are cursed. Nicodemus said unto them, He that come to Jesus by night, being one of them, Doth our law judge any man, before it hear him, and know what he doeth? They answered and said unto him, Are thou also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. And every man went unto his own house. Amen. Now let us read First Thessalonians from chapter 4. 
Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of sensuality, even as the Gentiles who know not God. But no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He, therefore, that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touching brotherly love, Ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourself are taught of God to love one another, and indeed ye do it toward all the brethren who are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet, and to do your own business, and to work with your own hands, as we commanded you, that ye may work honestly toward them that are outside, and that ye may have lack of nothing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them who are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also who sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not proceed them who are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, we thank you for even now you helped us to read your words. As you said, Lord, they saw you but they did not believe. But blessed are we as we did not see you yet we believe in you. Help us to stay in your righteous paths firmly and do your ministry as you want us to. Be with us and protect us. In the name of Jesus I ask. Amen. God bless you.